We're done, Mike. That's us. Welcome. We're here to help you with your fitness business, specifically your online fitness business, really. I should probably say that more often. I think I just say fitness, don't I? Oh, I don't fucking Doesn't know. Doesn't matter. You're all here. You're all here watching in your thousands. Droves. Yeah, you love it. You're sharing this with all your friends, yeah. which is great. So Put your penis that. away, you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for sharing. And that's a bit too much. I've yeah, seen a bit too much there. Yeah. Um, go on. Oh, I'll share it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. just fucking share it, will you? Yeah. Uh, um, I'm having to wear my hat in here because the, the lights actually do make me burn. So I have to wear my hat. Just, I realise I'm inside wearing bouncing a Bouncing off his head. I realise that. Yeah, but um, anyway. Yeah. What, uh, Today, the, how we, do we, I we, make... No, yeah, well, 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 whatever, what? before that. Why haven't we... We haven't done a lifestyle YouTube... We haven't got enough time still, mate. We're too busy catching up with all the work we got to do. No one, wants to, see, no one on. wants to see our lifestyle either. They do, though. No, they don't, mate. Oh, they do. I think, I think you're fine. Right, the reason I don't want to get these videos back again, do you want to know why? Because I'm the one that has to hold the camera. I'm the one that has to edit the videos. And I'm the one that has to do all the shit with it just so that he can take the piss out of me for 20 minutes. Together? We'll do it together, though. Yeah, but you take the piss out of me for 20 minutes. That's always going to be. Yeah, and you do, the, you yeah. do it back. <laughs> it was good. It was good fun. Like, <laughs> like looking, looking at some of those old ones. We need to, we need to do that. We need to do that. It'll show a different side of us. Right. So here's the, here's the deal, guys. If you want to see, like, normal vlog style, uh, us outside of the studio. Sorry, Marwan. Um, but if you want us to see <laughs> us outside the studio, we'll come back. Um, doing normal stuff. Dicking around, mainly. Tell like us in the, the comments. Stuff, the Tell us in the comments why. Why? If and we what get, you loved about the old stuff. So if we, we get, get more than one comment that <laughs> says it, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, that's how fickle we are. But no, we should do it. I've told right. you this. We should, we should I, you know you've told, I know you've told me this, right? But let me explain. So this year we have changed things with our little bit of how we do stuff, right? So we do have a little bit more time back within our week, right? Which is great. The problem with that is that we've had a backlog of lots of work we wanted to do. So we're filling that now in all this time we have free. So in a few weeks and months time, we probably will have a bit more time to go, right, actually, we do have half a day. Let's actually film a YouTube video that's more vloggy based and that sort of stuff. So at the moment, mate, we're just going through that to-do list, like bang, 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 bang. Do you know, we've got a lot, so, of, lot of stuff on. Here, here we go. Plug. Like, we've got the event coming What up. have we got? Like, we've got the event. Oh, thank you. That's it. So we've got, our, Segway. we've got our live event, our live fitness event that's going to be in the UK in June on the 17th, probably. Oh, um, he's yet gone to be for the date. Yet to be confirmed, but probably 17th of June. Yeah. It's going to be in June because it's when we're back for our photo shoot. Yeah. With our clients. Um, looking at the 17th of June as the date. So, you know, make sure you keep that free. Keep your whole of June free, to be honest, because this is going to be epic. Uh, and it's going to be somewhat related on the video we're going to talk about today. <laughs> yeah. plug. Um, it's not going to be, oh, look, as you can imagine, do I need to say this? Do I need to say that me and Mike are going to do a fitness event and it's not going to be like anything you've ever seen before? Correct. Do I need to say that? Yeah. It's not going to have your you usual suspects, you know, all the same people, all these events saying all the same things. Same no. round tables. It's not going to be, we're not going to really invite many people from fitness. If any, I don't think. The people we've got as our top choices, we haven't reached out to people yet. So I know you're watching. I know you're watching, guys. Don't worry, we will reach out to you. Yeah. Um, so we've got the main headline guy confirmed. He wants to do it. Um, we've just got to confirm the date and location with him. So that's good. We've got a second headline guy that may come. We are yet to hear back from his agent, believe it or not, about that one. And then we've got another three people that we... I've got to ask yet. Basically. Not as famous. Not, sure. as, not as famous. I've got agents. Nearly um, as important. But, but they are as important. But yeah. Nearly isn't as it's important. It's not going to be about fitness. It's not going to be a, a, your typical business related kind of shit, right? We're going, we're going left field because that's what we do. That's the saying, isn't it? I've yeah. said this before on a podcast. I don't yeah. know why it's the saying. Why is it the saying? What's wrong? What's, what's the left field? Why is it different to the right field? It'll come from somewhere. Maybe it's a bit farming or something. Left field. Anyway, um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that because we will be notified. And of course, anyone who is on our email list will get not only first refusal, first hearing about it first. Uh, no, that's a lie. They'll hear about it first. Before that, our members will get access and our clients will get access. They get first dibs, obviously. So if you want to join the members group, just make sure you join it. The link's in the bio, in the description below, sorry. Um, so do that, get in there. Because the price of that alone at the moment, at this time of going out, will actually... I think two months worth in there is going to save you the same amount of price off the ticket you're going to get. I think. Well, if you sign one. up, if you sign up for one month, mm. you'll be saving that money back off a ticket. There you go. So you might as well join. So you might as well do it. 
because you get the actual one month. Anyway, yeah. Um, talking of farms, Clarkson's Farms back next week. Is it? Yeah. I can't wait. That's so good. Yeah. The, the trailer for uh, Series Two's dropped. Uh, and dropped. Uh, Drop that. Uh, Speaking of things dropping, how do you make a reel go viral? How do you drop a reel and it goes viral? We've not finished all the other stuff we're doing what? yet. We're doing loads of stuff. More, more, even more of these. Um, what more events apparently. What else are we doing? Diary. What about that? Oh, they don't care about that, do they? Yeah. They care about magazine? Do you, want, do you want a magazine for me and Mike? Me and Mike wrote, wrote a magazine out. Do you want it? We've done that. We've done a magazine. Magazine? What's that? What's that, Mike? Is that going out free to the members? Is it's it for free? free? It's free. free we're, yeah. we're absorbing that expense, so that, are we? That, that 49 quid that we just wow. said, that's free. That's free. You get the magazine as well. The what sorts so, what is the there. magazine? It's the diary of a CEO, but with a line through CEO. Play on words because, you know. Oh, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not called diary of CEO, by the way. I did, for anyone watching who, who might. No, no, want no. no. It. Legally, it's, it's not, not called that. It's the diary of an online, online coach, coach in his spare room. In his spare bedroom, yeah. But that's they call it. themselves CEOs sometimes. Yeah, that's it. Um, just and it's basically just a breakdown on a day-to-day basis of thoughts, things, musings, a little bit of banter. It's not, it's staged. Of course it's staged. Don't but it, that. Uh, it's not staged. It's written in diary format throughout. So I think Adrian Moll's diary. Yeah. Um, but, so we'll, But funnier. Yeah, basically there's rants, there's uh, coach interviews and success stories, there's a fucking online coach crossword in there, there's hints, tips, what's working on Instagram, musings, thoughts, uh, experiences. Basically, they're fucking brilliant, and nobody else is doing it. Not not that good, anyway. Yeah. Um, you wait. But anyway, that's included, so that's something that's stopping us doing the podcast. I'm sure there's something else. Social media playbook. Social media playbook? We, we, yeah, we're filming that on Sunday. So well, that'd be yeah, that'd be done and completed by the time you watch this, probably. So loads of stuff in three weeks' time. But um, this is going to be this topic actually will be in the social media playbook. So think about that if you like this video. Again, I keep saying it, but if you're on our email list, you're going to get to hear about all this first. How do you get on the email list? You basically send me or Mike right a message on Instagram with the word BB and then something after it. That we will that's decide. Does it? <laughs> Can't remember off the top of my head. BB Bailey, send us the BB Bailey right on Instagram, and not only we get an email list, you also get a, a free seminar that we did, um, talking about how to be yourself in an industry full of clones. I mean, good. how much fucking stuff do you want? That's that we're giving away too much stuff here. Too much. Stuff. Too much stuff to give away to for you to absorb. Oh, what happens if I give too much away that they don't want to work with me? Oh, God, don't Probably mind. won't, will they? Yeah. You don't want to work with us anyway. Look at you. Yeah. None of you. You're not commenting. You're not sharing the video. You're not doing anything. Oh, anyway, this one is. Let's get onto it now. I mean, fucking personal. About to say, it's um, been a long one already. Yeah. How, how to, to make a real go viral? Oh, why should I listen to you? You two haven't had a viral video. Well, no, that's that's some, something different. You are? That's something different. No, the saying we haven't had a viral video in fitness. Oh right, yeah. The sex yeah, one. Yeah, was. yeah that's. Um, so basically, the reason that this is something you don't need to worry about is there obviously, look, we all need we all need more followers. We all want more followers, of course we do. Um, but Not this, me. I've got loads. Yeah, yeah, you've got loads of them, mate. Um, but we get this question regularly: How do I increase my reach? How do I make my reel go viral? All this sort of stuff, right? And and with social media, it can seem that sometimes things go viral, and it can seem that things go crazy out of nowhere. But the reality is that it's actually down to weeks and months of consistent hard work and effort with nothing to show for it until you can get to that point where videos start to take off and they get more reach and they get more engagement and that sort of stuff. Um, and it's a relentless task. It's a task that requires you to spend a lot of time storyboarding, filming, editing, trial and error, looking at what's working, what's not working, and then doing it all over again every day for weeks on end. Not every day, though. Well, yeah, every day. No, I take weekends off. No, every day. Well, well yeah. Miss didn't let me be on my phone on weekends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I haven't got a video that's gone viral yet. Okay. There you go. Simple as that, isn't it? Um, but stop asking that question because it's really fucking annoying and it's not what you actually need in your business. So don't bother trying to chase it. That's the thing is that um, back in the day, granddad, um, when we were young whippersnappers, um, I wasn't young actually when I got into this business. Old. So I'm still, you know... You've got a head start. Anyway. Um, but when we were coming up into the industry, the people that you used to look up to were the good coaches. You would go and learn at seminars about how to coach, nutrition, training, so on and so forth. You would go to training days. Like we would go and 
fucking we went and listened to like 3D MJ. They don't even know who they are, do they? These don't these Probably these don't days. Know. Like Brad Schoenfeld, Alan Arrog- Arrogant. <laughs> Get your words out, mate. Alan Arrogant, um, Brett Contreras, um, James Krieger, Martin McDonald. We would we would people know Martin McDonald is these days. Yeah, because I'm a new. But anyway, my point being is that when we were coming up for learning, we would go to the seminars and learn. There was at no point ever a thought of us going, oh, how do we make these videos viral? How do we blow up and try to get 100,000 followers? You don't need 100,000 followers. Mm-hmm. You can't work with 100,000 people, so why do you need 100,000 followers? It's madness. It's like if you've got 4,000 followers and you've only got 10 clients, work on getting more than 10 clients out of that 4,000 followers. You don't need to worry about whether you're filming a reel with a fucking trending audio. That's your business strategy. Seriously? Your business strategy is to find trending audios and do Aldi shops for high protein. That's the bi- that's the business model. That's what we're looking up to. Do you think any coaches coming into the industry now are looking at your content and going, oh, God, that's how I want to be? No, no. Back in the day, you would look at the, the good coaches and, and emulate that and be the best coach you could be, and that's how you build a business. But now there's there's just this heavy, heavy focus on, ooh, reels and viral and this, and can I sell my fucking soul just to get more views on a reel? When ultimately, it doesn't affect anything. So when I said, so there's a little bit of irony in this video with how to make your reel go viral, because we've never had one. We don't need it. We've got 500 clients in our business. We don't need it. Learn how to, to monetize the current audience it have, learn to grow at a normal rate through good niche-related content. The thing is, more people are bothered, more people are asking the question, how do I make a real go viral than how do I connect with my audience? And that, that, that in lies the problem, is that the, the question that you need to ask yourself is how Submit. do I better connect with those people who follow me already? Because the people who followed you already, right, have clicked that button, so there must have been something about you that was interesting. He's Believe getting it or ranty. Not. He's getting ranty. Believe He's it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, right, there was something that they found interesting about you. So it's your job to turn up and show them what is interesting about you on a personal level, what is interesting about you on a work level, and then how you help people on a daily basis that are just like them. Not trying to look for trending audio so that you're real, that you can post three photos of you working out, working at your desk, and chilling watching Netflix can reach 10,000 people. You've already got 4,000 of them, and you can't speak to them. So what's another 10,000 watching that reel gonna do for you? Nothing. It's gonna do nothing. This is a common problem that coaches come up against all the time is that, oh, I've only got a thousand followers. If I stuck you on stage in front of a thousand people, you would shit yourself with how nervous you would be and what you would say. You need to start acting like someone who understands their audience and understands what people need. Because what people do not need is to be told that there are yogurts in Aldi that are high protein. They know that this stuff exists. They're just not choosing it. They walk past it every single time. Straight, make a beeline for the fucking Milky Bar desserts, which are incredible aren't they? Remember them? Yeah. And the little dairy milk buttons with the little thing on yeah. the corner of it. They're Brilliant. going for them because they taste better and they actually don't give a shit about their nutrition or their health because if they did, they'd already know about the protein yogurts. It's your job to show those people that you understand them and their problems and their thought processes, their habits, their daily life, their stresses, their strains, their struggles and go, I can help you get out of that and get you to a place where you will want to choose the high protein yogurt rather than give them a list of fucking foods that they should be eating, right? And the thing that is so painful is that the very coaches that are asking about reels going viral are the ones that cannot connect with an audience. And the ones that can connect with an audience aren't trying to go viral. The coaches that I know that can get clients, have a good following, understand their niche to a T, do not need a video to go viral. They need it to reach their demographic. They need to reach 4,000 of their people, not 40,000 randomers who like the sound of an audio track. And that when they're on their reels, we're just swiping through it and they found it for three seconds. By the way, I think it's something like two or three seconds counts as a view. So it means that someone basically was on your reel while changing the channel on TV and went, oh, that's shit and swiped up. That's a view. Do you want 40,000 of them? Or do you want 4,000 people watching it all the way to the end going, fuck me, that was really, really good. They may not even hit like, they may not even hit save, but they will go, I really, really like that because I was watching that intently and I went on to the next one. You do not me. know the outcome of that. You do not know. There. There. It's him. He's, he's, his mic's messed up. You do not good. know lower. like whether he's fucking fucking up. There he's we go. useless. He? You have to bring it like, a little bit lower, see? We're not professional. My one's there with a sign going, you Mike, and Mike's just chatting to him. Yeah, no, it's fine. We don't no, you don't, need to, you, don't need to be, you don't need to be quiet. We're not professional. Um, I forgot what I was saying now, so there we go. That's ruined that, hasn't it? But, um, it wasn't yeah. important. <laughs> it wasn't important. But, but yeah, look, uh, what I'm saying is that people, 
focus on the reels and they focus on the views, but you do not know what that means. Did they watch it all the way through? Did they watch the first three seconds? You will not know. They're listening to your trending audio. That's why they watched it because they like the audio and they went, oh, that's good. Swipe next one. What is important is that people are looking at your content. Mm-hmm. They're watching your content and they're feeling something when they watch it. Not like that before you go that way. Mm-hmm. You're connecting with them and you need to have different types of content. If you post every single reel in the hope of going viral, you will never connect with an audience because you're never going to create the right content that's going to connect deep with them. Because your content shouldn't be able to go viral if it speaks to a certain demographic of person because it should be that specific that it wouldn't get shown to thousands upon millions of people. It shouldn't. I think I've ranted enough on that, but you get my point is that you, and I get frustrated with this because coaches come to me all the time on their check-ins each week, oh, posted a reel, didn't really get any engagement. What do you mean it didn't get any engagement? You have no fucking idea what that person's brain was thinking when they watched it. Oh, I didn't get any inquiries this week. No, but you got seven last week, so you might not get any this week. Oh, but no one replied to my CTA. Yeah, they're not going to because you're not connecting with your audience very well. Like, you need to look at the bigger picture rather than going, oh, my reel didn't get the views I wanted it to. And I posted that trend in audio. Well, yeah, but it's because you were pointing at something and it was just useless and no one gives a shit about that. That's the thing is that like our our reels, these, uh, well, I mean, this is a YouTube video, but it could be cut into a reel if Joe does it. Um, these won't get a million views. You might get a million views on a fucking chicken burrito. It may well, yeah, if whatever, if the right trend yeah. in audio is picked or whatever. Or if you're a girl in a bikini, like, yeah, or, you know, what, whatever, yeah. do you know, like... this When you're in a bikini, that'd get millions. Well, yeah, he would, yeah. yeah. Just don't worry about it. Um, but um, why would we need a million views? There are not a million coaches in the UK. So why would we need a million then? It's the same as if you were a coach that worked with a real specific niche. Let's just say you worked with people with disabilities. Well, you wouldn't need a million views or half a million views because you need 30 or 40 select niche people to work with. That's it. That's all you need. So instead of thinking about how many views you can get, it's how good of a connection can you get to the audience that you're trying to work with because you only need 30 or 40 of them to connect with it. That's it. Mm-hmm. You don't need millions. And what happens if you've based all of your business model on blowing up on Instagram because you're posting these fucking shit reels and the algorithm changes, something that's not out your, that's not in your control. What happens if in two weeks the algorithm changes and actually reels aren't being pushed anymore? Actually, it's going to be something else. Someone else is in direct control of who sees your content. So do you think it's better to make your content relevant to you in your niche or do you think it's worth, or do you think the best plan of attack is really actually to be doing what you're doing and just seeing if you can bust the algorithm which is basically what it is it's breaking the algorithm it's can i do this for long enough five six seven eight months until it takes off okay cool if if you want to hang your hat on your business on that and see it take off cool if that's what you want to do good luck to you good luck because like i say the algorithm could change you might get i've got a client with one hundred two thousand followers he actually dropped clients as he was growing because of the content he was putting out we've had to change it um and he's, he's now, he basically, uh, I think he's doubled his clients within about the last six weeks. It, anyway, what you think is going to happen by going viral probably is not going to happen if it even happens at all. So instead, the content that you put, even if, even if only fucking 400 people view it, it doesn't fucking matter. So don't think it's getting no reach, no engagement, don't moan, oh, Instagram this, Instagram that doesn't matter. Right. The other thing I always say to, to coaches on this as well is they say uh, things like, well, no one replied to my CTA. No one commented on the video. And I always ask them the question, how often do you comment on videos? How often do you actually re- respond to someone's CTA? Right? How many times do you need to see a CTA before you do respond to it? And once you start realizing that actually you don't write meaningful comments on people's posts, you don't DM the word, you don't you don't write the the comment, the rocket emoji, and all this sort of shit on people's stuff, right? It's only the fitness industry that seems to be a thing, right? People don't actually comment that much. People that do are just angry usually. You, you see things that go fucking crazy. Ask ask yourself how are you using Instagram. Right, and ask yourself that question then and go, right, well, how do you think my audience might use it and how can I get them to take an action that I want them to? Because you might join an email list off the back of Instagram. That's something you may do. But I, I have never replied to someone's direct CT on the Instagram story where they've said they've got spaces to work for them, even if I've then gone on to work with them. I've just sent them a message because I know that's how to do it and that's what the purpose of the CTA is, to tell them how to do that. But 
when you think about how you use it and how often you comment and you leave a meaningful comment or you don't, most of the time, like for me, I just tag fucking mates and shit. That's funny. That's what I do most of the time, right? That's what you're, that's what most people do on, on Instagram. And again, with saving stuff, you save stuff that's meaningful. How often do you ever go back to any save videos? I've got loads of golf videos and they're saved. I've not really gone back to watch them. I just don't do it. So you're chasing metrics that may not actually be useful in any way, shape or form. What is important is you get people onto like an email list so that if Instagram does crash or you lose your account, you've got a bunch of people there that you know are engaged because you know that they're engaged because they've gone to the effort of giving an email address. So that's the sort of stuff you should be focusing on rather than the number of views you get on a reel, right? That is always going to be the, the thing to focus on. Um, yes, we want to reach new people. Of course we do. But not at the expense of our current audience being absolutely ignored. Because I think you've used this analogy before. If you've got a thousand followers and you've got five clients, by that maths, to get to 50 clients, you need 10,000 followers. And l- look at the rate you're growing on Instagram and go, fucking hell, like, how long is that going to take you? So then is it about having that many followers or is it actually just about reaching the current ones you've got and speaking to them better and understanding their needs better? Because most people use Instagram for their own selfish needs, right? And people don't seem to understand that clients haven't just got a money pot and a pile of money to throw at you just because you posted three fucking things you can buy from Aldi that got protein in them, believe it or not. You're going to have to show them that you really truly understand their problems and their feelings and their thoughts. And it's going to have to be done for longer than you think that's the reality of it. Like people don't want to hear it. They don't want to know that, but that's true. It's hard to get money out of people online because they have to trust you. They have to know I can trust you. And the way they do that is by looking at your content consistently over time, not, oh, Mike's just posted a reel with his really good audio on it. That's, that's not why someone signs up with you. Joe, make this into a reel. Um, Have a look at this reel. Look at the amount of views it's got. I'm going to guess between one and 2000. If that, if that, are we bothered? Are we still going to make it into a reel? Yeah. Because the point is, it doesn't matter. The fact is, is that you watching this, I bet you're an online coach. Why are you an online coach? Because we know our audience, we know our niche, we know who we're talking to, and we create content for you, an online coach. I'm definitely going to put trending audio over the top of it, though, trending audio, just to yeah. try and make sure that it gets is there more people. Else can do? Is there anything else that we can pop up? <laughs> yeah, can we point at stuff like and that? do that? Will that make it go better? That's going to make it go I better, surely. I'm sure it will. It's um, As long as we've got the Explore page and trending audio, we will blow up. But if someone found our content that wasn't online coach, it'd be fucking pointless, wouldn't it? So do you get the point of what I've just said? You must get the point. I've just called you out. You're an online coach watching this. Linda from uh, Londis wouldn't, wouldn't be here because of the way that we put our content over. We don't want them. We don't want 10,000 views from India, respectfully. We, we, don't, we don't need that. You need 2,000 people, 2,000 online coaches watching our stuff. Cool. Here's a, here's a good um, example as well, is that I, we looked at TikTok and all that sort of stuff, right? So I had a TikTok account ages ago. I started uploading our reels. So the reels we do for this, I started uploading them to TikTok, right? And some of them actually got half decent views. I got some older, some of the older ones as well, the fat loss ones that I put out originally. Um, and I put a link in to download the free lead magnet. That's what I did first when we first moved here. And then more recently put out some of the more businessy ones and just just to see, right? So 500 or 1,000 views, which is nothing not to be sniffed at. It's a good number of people, right? And then I looked into the locations of where those people were based, and a lot of them were based here in the UAE. They're based in uh, Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, Egypt, and something else. And I instantly stopped them posting on TikTok. Why did I do that? Because our humor, our knowledge, our experience isn't going to be able to help that demographic of people. In my opinion, again, like you could say, well, maybe there are loads of more online coaches. Maybe they were. But I would suspect that they wouldn't understand our sarcasm, mannerisms. Or even if they were all online coaches, it's not really the market we're going for. So why would I waste time posting on TikTok trying to go viral and do all that stuff when it's clearly pointless? That's the thing that coaches aren't working out and they're not seeing. They're just jumping on, oh, I'm going to post this on TikTok. Well, are your audience on TikTok? Are they spending time there? Do they even care? And I know a lot of online coaches that have got 50, 60, 70,000 followers on TikTok and only about 1,000 on Instagram. And they can't move them over. And I'm like, well, that tells you then, doesn't it, that Instagram, that TikTok, sorry, isn't a great place to get people to buy from you and to invest in your brand because you can have that many followers there on that platform and they will not move over to Instagram. Maybe they don't have Instagram, maybe they don't. But the point is that it's not a good place to create meaningful connection with people because it's such a short video and people are on there to waste time. 
that's what they're on there for. They're not on there to go, oh, I want to sign up with someone for coaching. That's not what they go on TikTok. It's just not. So think about that. Um, use your brain with it. Use your brain with social media and realize that it's not more that you need. You need to put more effort in. Yeah. You need to put more time into it. Yeah. You need to have more conversations with people. Yeah. But you do not need more views. You just don't. Because by doing all the other stuff... You'll get more views. You get more views. For the right people. Funny that, isn't it? All the people we know that are doing really well on Instagram and they are growing an account, they're creating content because A, they love creating it. They found a way that they really enjoy it. They found a way to answer the problems of their niche and the problems that their followers are really, really struggling with. They enjoy the process. They engage an audience through doing it and that's not their primary goal. Their primary goal is because they enjoy putting out the content. And then because of, on the back of that, they will then get more clients in the future, not instantly. So just remember that. Nothing to do with what you just said. My watch was uh, was off, and I just guessed at what time it was, and I got it exactly right to the minute. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's weird. That that's good, that, isn't it? Yeah. I can't just believe that. Just because the sun, done was it? it? Worked it out. Just <laughs> instinct, you know, military man. So. Yeah. But I can't believe I've done that. What, whatever he said. But yeah. But they go, like, look at as well, like, comment with any, uh, on the video, any, any problems you've got with social media and what your main problems are, because... It is a struggle, people. Don't get us wrong. Like, I understand. Like, look, we all want more followers. Of course we do. Like me and Mike are sat here. Of course we would love more followers. But we also want more online coaches following us, not just more followers in general. So yes, you want more followers, but it needs to be the right type of people. So if you get your bio set up properly and your profile set up properly, you will attract the right type of person. And actually, I would argue that growing your followers too quick is actually a negative because it probably shows you haven't niched down enough and that your bio isn't that specific on someone and you may not be attracting the exact type of people you want into your program or into your coaching because you haven't optimized things as well. I would say there's actually a, a, an argument to be made that slightly slower growth is better than viral and, and going crazy and that sort of stuff. Um, but I really want to hammer home that the people that enjoy making content, the people that find their way of doing things and find their unique way of turning up and they don't see it as a chore then. They do post every day because they can be consistent. They love it. They enjoy the process. They're the ones that are growing. So find your way of doing it, which isn't, by the way, taking three photos and putting trend audio over top of it. No one loves doing that. that that's just shit. That's because you haven't, you can't be bothered to put the time and effort into investing in properly, in proper content and doing it properly. You can't be bothered. That's why you're doing that. Invest in storyboarding your content. So planning it out, editing it, filming it properly, it takes time. Of course it takes time. I'm sorry to break it to you. Of course it's going to take time. Of course it's going to get hours. It's not as easy as that. But that's how I know the difference between people who are planning their content and those who make it on the fly. Because those that are planning it out are the ones that are doing very, very well. And the ones that make it on the fly and get to 6 p.m. and go, I've not posted anything today. I better post something. Are the ones that aren't growing. The people who are growing are filming their stuff properly in proper proper cameras, proper iPhones, all that sort of good stuff, proper lighting, proper audio. They edit it on a computer and they plan it out. They're the ones that are growing. Simple as that. Not the ones that are spending five minutes looking for trend audio at 6 p.m. before they post at 6.05 with a couple of photos. So if you like this, please share it because we really want it to go viral. Um, want to go viral? Just not the same like as did last time. Different type, that one. Um please um, so just share it and, and yeah we're going to talk more about this in the social media playbook that we're going to release very very soon which is basically how to create deeper connections with people online how to make sure that you pick a niche that you actually want to work with you know their problems you know their struggles how to then set up something whereby your content speaks to them you understand what storyboarding is filming editing you know how to do all that sort of stuff how to set up a lead magnet and get them off there onto an email list how to then speak to them in dms how to have conversations with them how to create an engaged audience, basically. So rather than going, oh, I've got 10,000 followers, you go, I've got 3,000 followers that fucking love me. That's the, the goal of it. Okay. Do you know where Road is from? Australia. Nope. It says Germany on there. Is that? Well, it's not Road, though, is it? That one. Is it? Be why, mate. It says it? sure on top of it. Does it? Yeah. Oh, that's so. embarrassing. Well, what's this right, while I sort this out. Make it look more expensive. While I sort this out, we'll see you later. Have a good one. And see I'll you. sort him out. <laughs>